It is tricky getting my students to explain to me what the author is thinking when I'm reading a text because sixth graders always have opinions about what they think, but it takes a deeper type of thinking to get them out of their brains and, and in someone else's shoes. So one of the things I do um, that's concrete for them, by having them decide if the tone of the words are positive or negative, they can kind of um, make a claim on what the author is thinking. For example, if the author used mostly positive words to describe the situation, maybe the author feels that um, using the paddle in school is beneficial. But if the author uses negative words to describe it, maybe he is against it. And um, just having that concrete evidence there to look through, okay, well, there's many more positive words, many more negative words. And in this case, um, we found it, I found that there are positive and negative words were about equal. So the students were kind of able to see what they discovered and make their own claim um, that it wasn't um, something that there's necessarily a right or wrong answer about. But um, seeing that data right in front of them did really help them to come up with their own opinion.